Hey there, and welcome to another 5-Minute Wellness Show with Coach Moon. Today, we're going to slow it down a little bit and talk about some words of advice for a good life. Just some good old-fashioned bumper sticker wisdom. I'm a firm believer that some of the best things ever said were said in two lines or less. So maybe we can find something in here that can help you through today, through tomorrow, and beyond. So, one of my favorites, never give up on any dreams you cannot go a day without thinking about. If there's that reoccurring dream, that reoccurring thought, if I could only do this, you've got to really hold that dear. That, there's a reason why it keeps in your head. So make sure that that's the one you're working on. And Teddy Roosevelt, one of my favorite presidents, do what you can with what you have where you are. Very simple very true and what's the picture of the hammer coach moon well it's about emotional pain if you hit yourself uh, on the thumb with a hammer you feel it then but you cannot reimagine hitting your thumb and refeeling that pain but you can with emotional pain so it's it's there and it constantly can be hurting you, not just one time, like a thump with a hammer. So you've got to conquer that, whether it's therapy, whether it's your faith, whether it's just constant sort of focus on your personal beliefs and goals and achieving, improving, but you've got to do it. We all have it, but you have to deal with it. As you know, I love this quote, you've got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. That's right. Uh, and in this day and age, straight up fighting and conflict is not going over so well. So think about a spin move or a juke to get through the next difficult situation. Be smart about it and admit you're flawed. You can't do it all, but don't sell yourself short. You really are capable of a lot of things. Have goals, but make them realistic. Have a vision of both your short-term and long-term gains think about the saying do you see what i'm saying how many people say that but you're not actually putting words up in front of their eyes but visualization is very important do you see what i'm saying do you see what i'm talking about so seeing yourself in the short term and in the long term uh, can help you get to be that person visualize yourself doing it So be aware, the best things in life are not things. Find comfort in those things around you. Count your blessings. Uh, a very famous saying in the moon house is first world problems, meaning sometimes we find ourselves thinking this is a real crisis and we realize this is so petty compared to real, real situations. So be prepared for your mind and opinions to change. It's okay to be right. It's okay to be wrong. But understand you just can't be right all the time and people that can be wrong earn more trust from those around them and ethical people too once once you have some mission inside and you're you're moving toward that way it makes so many other decisions easier because your ethics are guiding you your moral compass is guiding you you're not politicizing every little conversation how you can benefit from it you're just following your heart and that is what people can see as well so and look at yourself from a distance do you see the person you want to be uh, my little saying is would you buy a car from a guy named honest John if he's got to call himself honest then chances are he's not so make sure you're 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 you have the right image of who you want to be and is that the image you portray so we do have resources available and relaxing participating anything to give you true clarity like a golf swing it's so natural you can't think about the mechanics of it and why is the picture of a butterfly because if you've ever tried to chase a butterfly very very difficult to catch one yet if you simply stand there that butterfly might just land on your shoulder so that seems to be an easy way to sometimes deal with stuff just let it happen 
and dealing with anger is very important. Get angry once and see where you end up. You know, the punching the locker days, those that just doesn't go over so well. And if you keep doing it, then that's kind of your own fault. So do a SWOT analysis on yourself, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Your strengths should get the most attention. Uh, working on your weaknesses is great, but really you're going to be more successful focusing on your strengths. Just avoid your weaknesses if possible. Threats, avoid them as well. If you get into a situation that makes you act poorly, then don't get in that situation. And if you do have opportunities, act on them. My little quote back here, I don't know if you can see it. If you don't ever change, then you won't ever change. So keep a journal, talk to someone you can trust, find some sort of spiritual outlet. Don't keep things, in, things inside. It'll only fester and infect other areas of your life. So one of my big favorites, obviously I have lots of them, is do common things uncommonly well. People uh, really can see that you just, you do things just a little bit better. You just, and that really says, tons about your character and, and just how you do all things. So think about the common things and do them uncommonly well. And keep them simple too. Your philosophies, your opinions, they can get complicated in this age of politics. What you want is your virtues, your morals, your values to guide you. Uh, your heart controls more than just your blood flow. So. I'm wrapping it up here. I've gone a little long, but that is a cover of a book I wrote in 2010. And what is it filled with? Lots of significant sentences, quotations to help you maybe figure out what you think and feel about things on the inside. I might just have a copy for you. So uh, think about these things. Let me know if you want, uh, want, want more of this kind of stuff. And remember, do common things uncommonly well. Coach Moon, out.